Hey everyone, welcome uh, to the webinar. I'm just going to get started in a couple minutes. Everyone can get just shuffled in and, uh, you know, get comfy. If uh, one or two of you guys can please confirm in the chat room that you can see and hear me okay, it'd be appreciated. Okay, good. I see one or two people confirming that. Thank you. The only knows everything's working correctly. So again, let's just give it in about another minute, two minutes about that. Um, just give everyone a chance to get logged in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for that to happen for some people. Um, but in about a, a minute or so, we'll get started with today's webinar. Uh, and by the way, before we get going, um, let me just, during this time, kind of introduce myself. Uh, my name is Craig Grant, if you don't know me. I am the CEO of RETI, uh, which stands for the Real Estate Technology Institute. And I'm a national speaker where I'm all over the country every day teaching realtors everything about technology, marketing, cybersecurity, pretty much any geeky topic, I cover it. Um, so I always say, you know, definitely a geek and a very proud geek, but my job is to try to make any tech topic as easy to understand as possible because I know the average person, average realtor is not a geek. So we try not to use any weird geeky words in any of my classes or webinars. Um, and by the way, I mentioned in the, R the RETI part, again, I'm the CEO of RETI, uh, but we are a team of five other independent speakers that all work together on the RETI.us website. And we do these webinars every week as a way to, one, give back to the industry and help educate realtors as much about tech and marketing as much as we can. Uh, but at the same time, it's also us giving and hoping that you'll give back. In other words, uh, we'll give you information towards the end of the webinar about the RETI website. And our hope is that you'll see value in what we're doing and that you'll consider going checking out the RETI site and maybe even getting an account. So hopefully, again, you'll do that. Uh, but every Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern, we do these three webinars. Um, so if you like this one this week, be sure to check out the future ones as well. Uh, that being said, it um, looks like we've got a pretty full room. A lot more people have logged in while I've been kind of giving my little intro. So uh, let's get started with today's webinar. Hello and welcome to today's webinar on how to run your entire real estate business on Google in the cloud. My name is Craig Grant, the CEO of RETI, and I know this is a topic we've done before in RETI because the entire RETI team are big fans of Google and the entire Google system. But this is our 2019 refresh because Google's made a lot of changes and improvements to the system. So in this webinar, we're going to go give you an overview of the entire program, plus highlight a lot of the improvements that have happened over the last few months. So the first thing we need to tackle is the difference between a free Gmail and a paid G Suite account. So if with Gmail, would you sign up by going to google.com slash Gmail? Yes, it's free, but it is has no support whatsoever. So if you ever run into a problem or a question, you can't call or speak to anybody from Google. The best you can do is submit a topic to the forums and hope that a consumer, not a Google employee, answers your question. Also, Gmail includes paid advertisements. Not only does it include advertisements, they're related ads. Meaning if you're reading an email, you're going to see an ad right at the top of it that's similar to the content of the email, which means Google is actually reading and scanning the email to make sure it can serve a related ad. Your email address with Gmail ends in gmail.com. And you only get 15 gigs of storage space across your entire Google account, meaning not just email, but Google Drive, and Google Photos and any other tool you use adds up to 15 gigs of storage space, which isn't a lot. And once you outgrow that, then you leave being a free account and become a paid one. But Google has a whole other type of account called G Suite. And that you sign up by going to google.com slash G Suite. With G Suite, you're becoming a paid business customer of Google. Not just saying I'll pay a little bit more to get some more storage space, but you're gonna pay $12 a month for this, Yes, there is a $6 a month account option, but I always say don't waste your time with that account because the benefits of the $12 a month account are just amazing. So by paying $12 a month, first of all, you're going to get 24-7 support direct with Google for any Google-related problem. You can actually speak on the phone to them or chat session, whatever you need to do to get help or answer your questions. You also get free onboarding, which means if you're a little bit nervous setting up your account, you can actually speak to a Google employee explain to them how you want everything done, and then they will set up your account for you to ensure you don't lose any of your contacts 
or calendar events or documents, whatever you're worried about. There's also no advertisements at all in a G Suite account. And instead of your email address ending in gmail.com, it ends in whatever your own website domain is. So if I own the website address me.com, I could have me at me.com as my actual email address. And again, now you're going to get unlimited storage for your entire Google account, meaning unlimited storage in Google Drive, in Gmail, in Google Photos. Every tool has unlimited storage, which is amazing, especially when you think about it as a realtor, you're probably worried about uploading files and running out of space. That'll never happen with a G Suite account. So now let's jump into 10 reasons why G Suite is the best option to run your business these days. So the first reason is Gmail itself. Gmail is the world's most popular email program. It is an amazing system that really does a great job, you know, just keeping spam out of your inbox and making sure your emails are sent and staying out of other people's spam folders, probably better than any other program out there. But what we're going to show you is there have been some improvements to Gmail over the last few months recently that you may not know about. So the first one is they've added the ability to pause your inbox. And what this means is, let's say you're really going to be busy all morning long working on a project and you don't want to be interrupted with emails coming in distracting you. You hit the pause inbox button and it does exactly what it sounds like. In other words, you won't get any email in your inbox until you unpause it. And what it does is you can actually draft an email that goes back to people with a message, something along the lines of, sorry, I'm tied up for the morning, but I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that way they don't think you're ignoring them, but also you're not being distracted by any new emails in your inbox that morning. They've also added this very easy and convenient to use little task bar right below the search bar. So you can very quickly tag a email so it goes into the right folder you want it in. So email, Gmail uses what are called labels, which is a quick way to do that. You can also just say I've read an email or deleted them or add it to spam. You can also schedule, meaning say, say you want to have a reminder when to follow up with that email just by clicking on that little calendar icon. So all of these little icons in that little toolbar make it very quick and easy when you're going through your emails to organize them and get things done quicker. There's also now the ability, this one's been around for a little while, but you know, might not be aware of this, to have a right side Google Hangouts bar. So whether you want to chat with somebody, phone call them, or even do a video call or a group video call, that little chat bar on the side makes it very quick and easy for you to communicate with the people you want to do. And then very recently, in the most recent update of Google, they added this right bar to shortcuts that you use all the time. So that little plus button at the bottom, you can click on that and search through the little marketplace and find tools that you use all the time and add them to that right panel. So for example, I have over there Slack for communication that I do for a lot of project planning and same thing with Trello and a few other tools I use, Google Keep, so I can quickly make notes and do things without having to leave the email program. When you go into compose an email, if you've never really paid attention to that little toolbar right there, Google's added some cool things there. So first of all, I'm sure you know you click on the A, you can change fonts and alignments and things like that. Um, you can also do attachments and links. And one of the things I love about the link icon with Google is you can just search for something. If you don't know the website address of it, you can just start searching for it, almost like you're out on the Google search engine. It'll find the website address for you. The little smiley face inserts emoticons. And then the little Google Drive icon is really convenient. If you have documents you've stored in Google Drive, you don't have to go searching through Google Drive to find those documents or get a link to it. You can click on that Google Drive icon and insert an attachment that just by doing that, by searching through your Google Drive account. Next to it is the ability to do the same thing with photos. You could either upload a photo or search the internet for them. And then the dollar sign is you can actually pay for things through Gmail as well or send people money. And then there's so many cool add-ons you can add into Google. These are third-party company tools you might not know about. So the first one's called Ystamp. And Ystamp is an add-on that allows you to make a really nice looking signature. 
So if you see how my signature has my face and has all my social media logos and then very nice and clean has all my contact info, well, I would never be able to have a signature that nice without using Y stamp. Also, if you notice that little piece of paper with the pencil icon, if you click on that one, that's one called Mailvelope. And Mailvelope opens up another window where now you can create a password protected encrypted email. So if you need to send a private email to a lender or anything like that, you can do that and password protect it with Mailvelope. And another really cool add-on is called Boomerang. And Boomerang adds this bottom row below the normal Gmail tools. So the first button you see there is called Send Later, which means if you've drafted an email, you can say, I don't want to send it now. Don't send it out till Friday at 3 o'clock. But another thing you can do is check one of the little box here that says Boomerang this. And what it means is, just like you in real life, if you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. So you could say, I want this email retrieved from someone's inbox in two days or in a week if they have an open or read it. So it literally will retrieve it from that person's inbox, delete it from there, and bring it back to you saying this person never read your email. And now you could send them a second email maybe with a different subject line. And also in the bottom right corner is another part of boomerang called respondable. And Respondable is really cool. It opens up this little right pane, and then what happens is every letter you type, it analyzes the likelihood somebody will respond to your email. So it's using some artificial intelligence to analyze the content of your email, and it'll let you know if your subject line is too weak or too passive, if you're getting too wordy in your body or just you know too many you know run-on sentences, things like that. So Respondable is fantastic, especially if you're not great with grammar or if you just, uh, you know, work alone and need somebody to kind of proofread your emails. And then some other add-ons you can throw in there are ones like DocuSign, HelloSign, the stuff like that to sign your, uh, an attachment without having to leave email. So there's all these really cool tools you can add in. There's also Google Contacts, which Google provides you a really good contact database, and you can go in and make notes and reminders on any contact in the system. And then there's Google Calendars, which had a major improvement over the last few months. So the first thing with Google Calendars is they gave it a nicer, newer design just so it's cleaner and easier to use. But also, they made a couple major improvements really focusing on Teams. So for example, one big improvement they made is now the ability to schedule rooms. So if you're a company owner and you want people to be able to schedule time in your boardroom or in a conference room, you can set up each room in the building and allow people in your company to schedule time in that room. Another thing they added in, again addressing Teams, is the ability to overlay multiple people in your company schedules side by side. So if you're trying to figure out when's the best time to get the whole team together, now you can look at everyone's schedules and find, oh, there's a time that works for all of us. And then there's some great third-party tools that can make Google Calendars even better, like Calendly. Calendly is an amazing little tool. It's free. So, for example, one of the biggest pains of working in the business world is trying to schedule an appointment or a time for everyone to meet up. And sometimes you're going back and forth with three or four emails or text messages until you find that time. Well, with Calendly, all you got to do is send them a link. So, for example, mine is calendly.com slash craig dash grant. And if somebody clicks on that link, it shows them the next several days in my calendar. They then click on the day they want to schedule something with me. And then it shows them the only available time slots on my calendar that day. And if they click, it'll then send both of us a calendar invite to accept and put it on both of our calendars. Another cool third-party tool for calendaring is called Assistant.to. An Assistant allows you to pre-select certain times or several times, and then it inserts those time slots on in the body of an email, and then the person you're sending the email to can click on the time that works for them. So with um, Calendly, you're allowing the person to pick the time. With Assistant.to, you're pre-selecting the times and letting them pick from that list. The second really big advantage of G Suite over other competitors out there or reasons you can run your business on it is the fact that they actually have entire third-party CRMs and task managers. And CRMs and task managers are almost vital if you're going to be in real estate these days. 
A CRM literally ends up running your entire business. It does all the contact management, all the calendaring, all the task management, all the you know steps involved in the process to make sure you're staying in front of your clients, you know, effectively. So there's a few companies like Yesware, Streak, Insightly, and Zoho who have built completely CRMs, complete CRM systems on top of the Gmail or G Suite interface. In fact, one that I'm very fond of is Streak. Streak is the only one that I've seen that's completely built out Gmail for real estate. In other words, you can map out the entire workflow of a real estate transaction or any kind of real estate transaction and have all the automations happen in Streak. So this just kind of gives you an idea of kind of the overall workflow screen in Streak. And you can see it's all built into Gmail and Google Calendars and everything else. So now you don't have to figure out how do I make my emails import to my CRM and tie into my calendar because it's built into Gmail. You can go in and quickly create, as you can see, like a um, task schedule for this person and put notes every time you speak to them. You can even track you know, commissions and everything within the system. So it is a full-blown CRM system that's built on top of the Gmail or G Suite platform. So again, instead of trying to figure out how do I make something, how do I import all my emails and everything into a CRM, why ever leave if you use a tool like Streak? And then there are also third-party task managers, which are what is every little step you have to do each day for every client. So I already showed you Streak, um, which has task management built into it. Now Streak is a paid program. Folio is a free one, although they do have a paid option as well. But Folio is a free task manager that's built on top of the Gmail platform as well. So what it does is it literally scans and kind of analyzes all your emails to create kind of folders for your different clients and transactions. So here again, very similar to with Streak, we never have to leave a Gmail account or G Suite account, and now you have task management with a tool like Folio. The next thing we're gonna tackle is cloud file storage. And these are your biggest vendors out there doing file storage, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, SugarSync, iCloud, and OneDrive. And if you've ever paid attention to any of our RETI you know, videos on cloud file storage or on data security or anything, you know that there's one vendor in this list that we always discourage, which is Dropbox, because Dropbox is well known to have very poor security. And we always say is all you want is the same functionality of Dropbox, but better security, you look at Box or SugarSync. But we also say, why waste your time with any of those three when you use either Google Drive or Microsoft's OneDrive or even iCloud with Apple, and now you could have an entire business built around it, not just file storage. So Google Drive, in our opinion, is the best file storage solution out there. And again, if you get that $12 a month G Suite account, it'll be unlimited storage space in everything you do here. The fourth reason why Google is an amazing solution is the fact it also includes an entire suite called Google Docs. And if you don't know what Google Docs is, it is a completely free replacement for Microsoft Office. So all the programs you use in Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, Access, etc., are replaced with Google Docs. And this is free no matter how many devices you use it on. Whereas Microsoft Office is paid per device per month these days. So as you can see, there's docs, slides is like PowerPoint, Sheets is like Excel, Drawing is like Publisher, and Microsoft, I guess for Access would be the closest thing to Forms, but it really isn't. And again, this ties right into Google Drive. So you could either say I want to upload existing documents into here or just start creating new documents from scratch of any of these different programs. And one of the coolest things about Google Docs is it looks almost exactly like Microsoft Office. So this is an example of Docs that looks just like Microsoft Word. And there's only a couple small differences. The first thing is the ability to not only share a document with somebody else, but also work it with it, work on it with them real time. So if you see there's two different little icons here, that means two people are signed into the document at the same time, 
and you can even communicate with each other and make suggestions to each other without ever leaving the document. Another thing that's different is the ability to have add-ons. And just like I showed you a moment ago with the different add-ons you had in the Gmail suite, you also have add-ons you can add into the Office suite. So for example, if I click on add-ons in the Word document program, here's just a handful of ones that I've gotten for the Word program, which we'll go over. But you just click on add-ons, then you go to the bottom and click on get add-ons, and then that sends you to a store where you can shop for the add-ons you want to add in to that specific Office program. And it's no different than an app store on your phone. You just find one you're interested in, you can click into it, read about it, see screenshots and videos of it, customer reviews and everything else. And if you like it, you click the little install button and then seconds later it's available for you to use in the Office suite. So, for example, with Docs, the Word program, this is a handful of some of the add-ons I've added into the Word program. So for example, a great one is called Mail Merge. So in other words, I can have a spreadsheet over in Google Sheets, merge it with a document here in Google Docs, and print out letters, envelopes, whatever I need to do. There's also Avery Labels, if you do label printing. There's Template Gallery, which has some really cool looking already template built out documents for you, whether you're doing calendars or timesheets or any kind of thing, there's a lot of really cool templates already built into this one. And then one I use a lot is called, Google, is called Doc Tools. It allows you to very quickly clean up a document for you know punctuation or you want to do all capitalizations or things like that. So it just helps you kind of clean up grammar and the look and feel of a document if you get a document that's a little bit messy. Google Slides is Google's program that's very similar to PowerPoint, where you can build out presentations. And again, there's some really cool add-ons here. So for example, Haiku Deck allows me to pull in a really nice looking background pictures into a slide without having to go look for a picture. You just type in a topic, it brings up co copyright safe pictures for you to choose from and insert them into your slides. Insert icons allows you to insert what it sounds like. Really nice, cool looking icons in any color scheme that you can add into your slides. And then Pear Deck allows you to create really cool interactive questionnaires, polls, surveys, things like that into a presentation. In Google Sheets, the Excel program looks and feels exactly like Excel, just like the other ones did. And again, there's some pretty cool add-ons you can throw in here. For example, remove duplicates. If you get a spreadsheet and you're trying to clean it up because you know the same people are in there multiple times, it'll do that for you. Or split names. You know, like sometimes you get a spreadsheet and their first and last names are in the same field and you need them broken up. It'll do that. Another one that I use all the time is called Yet Another Mail Merge. This one, again, you create a spreadsheet here in Google Sheets. You then create a draft over in Gmail and then merge the two things together. And now you can do a mail blast out to the entire spreadsheet in one click. And it even keeps track of who opens them, who receives them, did any of them bounce, everything like that. And then Google Drawing is very similar to Publisher where you can design things from scratch. And you can also open Publisher files and work on them that way as well. Fifth reason is Google Forms. And as I mentioned, the closest thing Microsoft has to this is probably Access, but Google Forms allows you to create questionnaires, polls, surveys, even landing pages for a website where you can say sign in here and go to the next page, and a lot more. And the cool thing about Google Forms is whatever you create, it kind of then generates a web page out of that, and it keeps track of every person responding and what's going on, and it'll even create a spreadsheet for you back in Google Sheets of all the responses. So Google Forms is a really cool tool. And again, there's some pretty cool add-ons here, like email notifications for Google Forms. So you can say, as soon as somebody fills out this form, I want this email automatically go back to them, kind of like an auto response. Another one I use is called Google Form Dynamic Fields, where you could say, if this person answers this question a certain way, 
this should happen. You know, maybe send them an attachment if they answered this one question. The sixth reason you might want to look into using Google for your business is Google Keep. And most people I know really don't aren't very aware of Google Keep. It's not really one of their best promoted products. But most people definitely know about Evernote more. Well, Ever Google Keep is Google's answer to Evernote. And the way I always describe either of them, it's like having a computer running out in the cloud. Because you can do everything you want in either Evernote or Google Keep from creating folders and putting files and documents and even forwarding your emails and text messages and voicemails into them. So it's really an easy way to kind of organize your life in the cloud that you can use from any device. So if you're using Evernote, we're not saying you have to stop using it to switch over to Google Keep, but it is a free alternative where, usually, where you have to pay for Evernote. This would be just part of your G Suite account. The seventh reason why Google is pretty awesome is both Google Hangouts and Google Voice. So Google Hangouts and Voice allow you to make phone calls, text messages, chats, and video calls to really anybody. You can call their house phones, cell phones, or you can call them through these tools if they're using the same thing. And only can you call someone and video call them for free using Google Hangouts and Google Voice. You can even do multiple people in a video chat room. So in other words, almost hold like a mini webinar for free. So it's a pretty awesome combination when you can throw in Google Hangouts and Google Voice. Eighth thing or reason why you might want to look into Google running your business is the fact that now Google has a new service called Google Drive Sync. And what it does is it can back up your entire computers. So in other words, if you're right now backing up a computer to an external hard drive or paying for something like Carbonite, you can eliminate that and just install Google Drive Sync onto a computer and make sure it's backing up in the Google Drive at all times. And now if you do this, there's no way you're gonna stay under the 15 gigs in a free Gmail account or the 30 gigs in the six dollar month account. By adding in this, you're almost guaranteed you gotta to go to that $12 a month unlimited account. But you're gonna be happy about it because it's packing up your entire computers now. And then the ninth reason why Google is really the best option out there is really the rest of Google ecosystem. You click on those nine dots at the top of your Google account, the little checkerboard, you're gonna see a list of all the tools you could use to run your business. And if your list isn't as big as mine, click on more, it'll get longer. And if it's still not as big as more, you'll see an option called go to the marketplace. And if you go to the marketplace, again, there's another huge app store of really cool tools you can add in from Google, some f directly from Google, some not, to again, run your business even more from your Google account. So I'm just gonna highlight a few things that are part of the Google ecosystem that can help you run your business. So the first being the Chrome web browser. Chrome is not only the fastest, most powerful, and most secure browser. It's really the only one that's a totally cloud-based one that you have a login for. And what that means is any computer or device you log into Chrome, it's just like being on your home computer. You can be on someone else's computer and see all your bookmarks, all your favorites, all your extensions you've added in, everything. And if, you've, if you don't know about extensions, we've done a lot of reviews of extensions on the RTI website. It's just like putting an app into your browser, okay? But they really allow you to get way more done online and the extensions in Chrome are so much more powerful than the other browsers. You could also get an Android phone or tablet. Okay, a lot of devices these days are built and run on Android. And if you're a big OE, big OE user, I would say it definitely makes sense to consider going Android because everything automatically is built in and syncs in your Google life into an Android device. And if you really want to go all in on Google hardware, there's what are called Google Chromebooks, which are computers which are built and run off the entire Google Chrome browser. It's called Chromium. There's the Google search engine, which is by far the number one search engine on earth. And then if you want to advertise on the search engine, there's Google AdWords. If you want to learn how to properly run a website, there's Google Webmasters. Okay, and they have all tips and information about how to optimize your site better and everything to perform better on Google. There's also Google Analytics, which is an amazing free tool from Google. It's basically just a bunch of code you copy and paste into your own website. 
And once you insert that code into your website for free, you'll have the most amazing statistics and tracking information about your website's traffic imaginable. You'll know exactly how much traffic you're getting, where it's coming from, where your traffic goes when it leaves your site, if they went to a search engine, what keywords they would use to find you, everything. It's amazing how much data and information you can get about your website's traffic by inserting Google Analytics into it. And this will work on any website no matter how it's built. Of course, YouTube is by far the biggest video set on Earth and actually the number two search engine now behind Google itself. And then if you want to use YouTube for a business, there's what's called the YouTube Studio, which you create your own channel and then you can upload your own videos in here and market them not just on YouTube. You can also very easily embed them onto your own website or promote them on social media. And they just made a major enhancement to the YouTube Studio Editor where you can edit a video really easily inside your YouTube account. It's not the most amazing video software out there, but it's definitely good for free what you can get in a YouTube studio. And if you watched recently the uh, whole breakdown Juanita did about you know the new YouTube editor, she did a great job kind of giving you a tour of that. There's Google Photos, which is not only photo storage anymore, all of Picasa, Google's old photo editing system, are now built into Google Photos. So you can edit the picture and pretty it up and crop it and everything else you need to do in a Google Photos account as well. Google Sites allows you to build and run websites, and they do have free options if you're a nonprofit. Blogger is the second most popular blogging system on Earth. So we always say if your website vendor has a blogging tool, use that. But if they don't have a blogging tool, it makes sense to use Blogger instead because it is run by Google. Google Alerts is a free kind of a notification system. You can just kind of type in any topic you want to the search bar and say how often you want to get an update from Google or an alert from Google. So Google Alerts are great for topics like you want to create a real estate alert where every day you'll get an update or a bulletin of every new story in the internet about real estate or about your town or anything like that. So Google Alerts are awesome for staying on top of your business and also for content to post on social media and things like that. Google Translate is amazing. It can convert almost 200 languages now and you can either type into it and have it translate or even play audio recordings or speak into it and get translations to other languages. Google Maps, obviously for directions to locations and you can also Type in, a, if you click on the directions button, add up to 12 addresses and plot out an entire tour. And it's amazing what you can show a customer with a street view. Google's really mapped most of our country, like literally almost every inch. So you can only show a client, here's the one property you're looking at. You can show them a tour of the entire neighborhood. And just to kind of give you an idea how crazy Google is and what they're willing to give away for free. Well, SketchUp is what's called CAD software. CAD software is some of the most expensive software on the planet. It's typically used by architects and city planners and developers. It usually starts around $10,000. Well, Google has a free version of SketchUp. Of course, they have a paid version of it, but the fact they're willing to give away a free version of their SketchUp CAD software just shows you how much you could really run a real estate business through this account for free or very low cost. And then the 10th big reason is just overall the value you get, the security, and the support. There's no way to run a business these days for $12 a month to get as much as you would get with a G Suite account. And to kind of give you a recap, you get to use your own domain and branding in your email address, and you're branding your logo and all throughout the account. Unlimited storage for the entire account for all your Google tools. Automatic computer backup of your entire computers all the tools you realistically need to run your business, 24-7 support directly with Google for any Google-related problem, free onboarding to make sure you're set up right, great security, and then amazing third-party add-ons to get even more out of your account experience. But the other part that I always throw in is what cost could you possibly eliminate by paying for the G Suite account? So by using the whole Gmail component, you might stop paying for stuff like Outlook or any calendar tool or contact system you might be paying for right now.
by adding Google Docs, so you can stop paying for Microsoft Office. By adding in Google Keep, you can stop paying for Evernote. By adding in Google Drive, Google Photos, and Google Drive Sync, you can stop paying for something like Dropbox or Carbonite. By adding Google Hangouts and Google Voice, you can stop paying for stuff like Skype or literally your phones, or if you're paying for any web conferencing tool like GoToMeeting, and a lot more. So again, there's no better, less expensive way to run a business these days with great security and great support than this G Suite account. So hopefully we gave you guys a lot of ideas to kind of kick around and kind of show you why we are so big on the Google system here at RTI. Um, and just to kind of give you a quick little, you know, kind of overview of RTI. Again, we are the ones that put on these webinars every single week as our way to give back to the industry. And our hope is by you attending these webinars, you'll see just how much great content we put out there and how really how good of speakers and instructors we are and be willing to go check out the RTI site and considering an account there. So once this wraps, I'm going to give you a little mini tour of it and even give you some bonuses, some promo codes, where if you're interested in getting an account on RTI, you'll get a big discount for doing so by attending this webinar. So that being said, I want to thank you for attending the this portion of the webinar. I'm going to wrap it up now and kick it over to the questions answer period and also give you guys your perks. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Craig. I'm back. Um, appreciate you sticking around for the whole presentation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll kind of look at your questions in a second. Um, first thing I want to do is kind of show you guys the first perk for attending and staying to the end of this webinar, which is kind of giving you a quick little demo of the RETI website. So if you're not familiar with RETI, again, the, R, the reason we do these webinars uh, for free is to help get exposure for the site, um, as the only way we can do all these webinars for free is we get more and more members using it. But what RETI is, is a site that I'm the CEO, I built the site and kind of pulled in a team of you know some of the best instructors in the country uh, for technology in the real estate industry. So it's myself, Juanita McDowell, Amy Smith Harris, Alex Camillo, and Warren Dow. The five of us do this site together. So we have now over 600 training videos on all these topics: cloud, mobile, and paperless, communication, CRM, data security, forms management, hardware, marketing, photo and video, RPR social media, software and apps, websites and SEO, Apple, Evernote, Google, Microsoft. We have a product guide. We write blog articles all the time. Uh, we have top you know, award winners in different categories and we do webinars every single week. So what this site is, there's nothing like in the industry where if you wanna learn about technology after today, at your own time, your own leisure, anytime you want, there's nothing like in the industry. And this is just showing you, let's add clicked on marketing for real estate. This is just the marketing section, how many videos we've created to help realtors learn about how to market themselves online. A huge section just on social media and on photo and video and websites and web blogging and SEO. So you can see, I mean, this is just the marketing section. If you go into the Google section, same deal tons of videos to teach you how to use really every part of the Google ecosystem. And now all of this is done, short little how-to videos, all with the perspective of how a realtor would do it. In our webinar section, um, you know, we always promote the upcoming webinars. And then if you go scroll down a teeny bit to the replays, any of our members can also watch all of the old webinars. And we've now have over 50 of them because we've been doing this forever for a year now. Um, and you can watch any webinar you want anytime if you're a member of the site as well. We also have a tech product guide where we try to review every app and tool we can get our hands on. Um, and this is just showing you, like for example, just in the app section of the product guide, all different apps we reviewed. And again, these are all done for what are the best apps for realtors to use and from the perspective of how they can be used in the real estate world. So the way the site works, if we were to go back to the home page, right away you'll see there's a little take a free test drive. And if you click on that, that would send you to a page we built, which has over 20 videos you can watch totally for free. So kind of gives you an idea of what the site's about and how it works. You can kind of check out the free test drive. 
Um, and then if you like it, you would click on the sign up now um, and go create yourself an account. So basically you got two options, either sign up by the month or for the year. Typically our deal going right now is $4.95 for your first month and then $19.95 after that. But as one of your big perks are sticking around for this webinar, I'm gonna give you guys a promo code. So if you type in RETI web into the promo code box, it'll change the $4.95 to $1.99. So your first month will only be $1.99 and then your future ones are $19.95. Or if you put the same code over here, it'll drop down the $99.95 for a year. It'll knock off 10% off that and drop it down to $90. So either way you go, either $1.99 and the $19.95 after that for this deal, or you do the 99, you, you would get $90 a year if you do it over on the right side under the coupon for the pay for the year. So that's a big perk. We're gonna give you basically either a $1.99 first month or do the whole year for only $90, okay? Which is an amazing deal because you know if you were to do the normal price of 1995, that's almost giving you half the year for free. Actually, it is giving you half the year for free. So that'd be your first big perk. Um, the other big perk that we'll throw in is what we do with these webinars is they're always recorded and we post them onto our site later today. So sometime this evening, later tonight, you'll get an email saying the webinar is now ready for you to view on the website and you can go check it out. So that's another thing we'll throw in for you is you can watch this webinar on replay for up to a week. Um, and that promo code will be good for the week as well. Okay, so hopefully you'll check out the site and you know uh, like it and hopefully sign up because again, the more members we get on RTI, the more of these free webinars we can do. And we're always trying to help this industry kind of go to the next level with technology. So I'm gonna open it up. Um, you guys have been able to post questions the entire time in the chat room. We're gonna open it up now. Um, but of course, I'd love to know what you guys thought of this webinar as well. Now, I'm not able to be here. I'm actually teaching a class right now in, uh, in Florida, um, but please post any questions you have. The moderator will definitely try to answer them. And if for some reason she can't, she'll get me those questions and I'll answer them as fast as possible, okay? Because I am able to log in as soon as I'm done teaching my class and see the chat room and see all the questions you guys are posting. So um, again, hopefully you guys will check out our TI and use that promo code and sign up for an account today, get yourself some big savings. And also please let me know if you have any questions about anything I presented today. And um, again, please check out our TI and come back for all the webinars every single Wednesday. Thank you guys and hope you had a great day.